What's going on everybody? It's Robinson here. As you can see, that beard is gone. I don't know. I find, I kind of feel weird without it. It's kind of digging it. I don't know. Might have to bring it back. But anyway, um, I wanted to give you some more updates on my physical therapy and my bicep tear. I know it's been a while. Like I said, best place to follow me is Instagram because I post things there way faster. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, Robinson DUP, you will find me. Um, I went to the surgeon probably now a week or two ago, I'd say two weeks ago. Um, and no, one week ago, one week ago. Um, he cleared me, so um, I don't have to go to physical therapy anymore. However, I'm not fully green lighted yet to resume normal training activities as of yet. Uh, he's still, I, I don't know if they're just being conservative or it's just how the injury protocol is, but I'm going to listen to it one way or another. Um, I can lift up to 30 pounds with that arm in terms of curling any weight. Main thing is nothing rapid or herky or jerky, just everything's slow and controlled. So that way I don't risk re-rupturing it for now. I'm guessing by the end of June, based on the timeline, um, I'll be fully cleared to resume, resume normal lifting activities. So. Uh, I'm still training legs very heavy every Saturday, or, you know, intensely, I should say, not necessarily very heavy. Um, but if I want to train heavier, I train heavier. If I want to train a little bit lighter with higher reps, I do that. But Saturday is usually my most brutal workout of the week. Um, I did start doing um, some bodyweight push-ups a couple times a week, maybe sets of 10 to 15. Nothing too crazy, just trying to control it. Because my left arm, obviously, is substantially weaker than my right right now. So I'm just trying to control it so that I'm not like jimmying off to one side where I'm stronger. I'm trying to force the left arm to take the weight. Uh, I did get up to about a 25 pound cable tricep extension the other day. And it was humbling to say the least because that used to be nothing for me. And it was way more challenging this time around. But I am trying to use that side to some extent. Um, overall, I've just had a lot of different things going on. So I have not really been focusing that much on training to be honest um, just because I've had other things to worry about so I've been hitting legs every Saturday hard with my buddy Jesse and then during the week I've been trying to get some other things in um, but I've been kind of just letting my body heal up and just been trying to take better care of my health overall I'm trying to get more sleep than I usually get just because I noticed and I think I mentioned this in a previous video um, you know, I'm so used to pushing at a, at a million miles an hour and never backing off. Um, that's probably how I ended up here to begin with. I'm not saying for sure, but probably was. Um, so I'm just trying to ease myself back into using my arm, training in general, uh, not going too crazy with it right now because I'm not fully cleared and I don't want, you know, to re-injure myself. It's not only the physical aspect of this, it's the mental aspect more than anything of what am I actually capable of and how hard should I push because unfortunately there's no one really out there who can give me any guidance it's kind of like go as you feel and that little part of okay well I feel like I could go more but I'm afraid to because if I do am I going to re-rupture the bicep tendon so um, it's just that mental mind game I've gotten up to about a 25 pound hammer curl already um, and it, I don't know what I'm looking for I don't know what I should be feeling for but um, the size of the muscle is starting to come back a little bit, both the bicep and the tricep. Um, the firmness of the muscle is starting to come back, so it doesn't feel like a pile of mush anymore. But it just, I don't know, I can't explain it. It's like a tightness or a stiffness, but I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing or what's to be expected or not. Um, so that's, that's the question is like, is that tightness normal or abnormal? I don't know, and nobody can give me any real details as to what it should feel, but there's no real pain per se um, I don't feel anything twingy I don't feel like I'm damaging anything anything like that um, but nonetheless it's just I, I think it's my mind more than anything is I'm probably overthinking it but I'm being careful not to readjust my movement pattern out of fear because that's how you end up getting injured is because you think you're gonna get hurt so therefore you change the way you normally do something therefore resulting in an injury um, while I've been doing all that, I have been fortunate enough to been able to focus on my training business a little bit more and pick up a whole bunch of new clients that I'm really excited about. Uh, I've got one 
My one client, Tony, who's competed before, he'll be back now May 11th at the AMBF show in Brick. Um, and I may have a couple more people coming in at the probably around the September, October time for some more shows. So while I haven't necessarily been training, to, obviously I can't, but even if I could, I, ha I haven't really been focusing as much on training um, or really trying to push myself that much right now. Just kind of been doing things to keep blood in the muscle, kind of maintain some strength until I'm really more green lighted on my upper body. Um, but with, with my job and family responsibilities and other things i got going on right now, I'm just kind of trying to let my body heal, we'll worry about the training later, because um, I know I will bounce back as soon as I start picking up a weight and, and able to g give it the full effort that I want to give it. But I've really just been trying to do other things that I had been pushing off for a long time and take better care of myself and focus on my family and focus on building my training business and doing other things that I've kind of been slacking on. Um, because obviously training takes up time, then when I'm done training I'm exhausted, so then it's hard for me to mentally do other things that I needed to get done. Um, besides that, I mean, mentally I'm alright. Um, I'm kind of in a, not like a depressed state or anything, but just kind of like a blah state right now. Just because I feel like I'm just sitting here wasting a bunch of time and I'm impatient. I know I'm impatient. So I'm just trying to be, you know, the, the light's at the end of the tunnel here. It's already April. We're almost through April. You know, maybe another six to eight weeks and I'll return to what my normal is. But I'm not complaining because things in life could always be worse. I am, I am blessed with my health, uh, you know, my family's health, and other things that are, are good in my life. So I just have to remind myself of that, that this is a minor inconvenience that has forced me to slow down, which was probably a good thing, even though it's hard for me to admit to that, because I just, I don't know how to stop. Uh, I don't know how to slow down. I don't know how to ever say, hey, you know, pump the brakes. I'm kind of like, it's an all or nothing. And sometimes that's good, and sometimes that's bad. Um, and maybe this was all a sign that I need to find just a hair more balance in life. Um, change my priorities a little bit. Um, you know, at first it was kind of like I was really pissed off and now I've kind of created a new little routine for myself to help me get through the day and get done what I need to get done for now. So I hope this wasn't too boring. <laughs> I'm not really good at talking about myself or my feelings on camera, I know. Um, but that's how things are going, guys. All right, hope you're enjoying these. Talk to you soon.